My favourite part of cycling in London is uh, cycling on a road with the 94 bus. I'm Peter Murray, I'm chairman of the New London Architecture Centre and also chairman of the London Society. We're involved in the discussion and debate about change in London, what's happening to the city. One of the roles we have on the Mayor's Design Advisory Group is to look at how cycling can actually improve the quality of life in cities. At the moment, a lot of the debate that goes on about cycling and pedestrians and motorists is from their individual points of view. What design does is actually brings together all the various elements that are required to go into creating a city. And one of the really interesting projects I'm working on at the moment is the uh, Mini Hollands project to deliver good quality suburban cycling, using bikes for shortish distances, using cargo bikes for school runs, all those sorts of things could very easily be implemented and once one borough sees what the others have succeeded in doing, then I think the others will follow. To discover more about what other people are doing to change the way that they provided new infrastructure for cycling, we rode across America from Portland, Oregon, right across to New York. For instance, Times Square, which they pedestrianised. One weekend, painted the bike lanes on the road and on Monday morning it was actually a pedestrian area. They found out people liked it and therefore after that they then put in a more permanent infrastructure. So I think those sorts of experiments are ways that you can actually change the culture of cycling. So it made me realise that actually consideration between road users is a key part of really creating better cities and cycle friendly cities. For the last half a century, we've bowed down to the god of the motor car and have destroyed city centres right across the UK. That now is in reverse. There are fewer cars coming into cities. Some streets have up to 70% of vehicles at rush hour are cyclists. The car should no longer be king on the roads and other users should have priority. Cities that have fewer cars and more active transportation are actually more civilised cities, better cities to live in and I would like to see more people riding bikes and walking and taking public transport. Mm -hmm.